Hey guys, Randy from the Armored Garage here, and I thought it was about time for another demo. Uh, before I get started, uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, user Stormage on Reddit for creating an awesome icon for, for Armorsmith, and um, to my buddy Chris Cola for helping out with some of the front end issues I was having, that was, that was fantastic. Uh, so on to the demo. Um, the newest feature is the adjustable dummy. Uh, in the last build, we did have adjustable height, but that was uh, kind of minimal in what you could really do with it. With this next milestone, what I'm going to be adding uh, is adjustable limbs. So being able to go in and say elbow to wrist is, oh, I don't know, let's make them some crazy giant. It's 40 centimeters long, and it creates these giant forearms. Or you can adjust the shoulder, uh, shoulder to elbow. Um, and make that uh, oh, I don't know, super short, really awkward. There we go. <laughs> kind of buggy with shrinking it down. Anyways, put some normal measurements back in there. Yeah, um, and then I also have controls for the legs. You can adjust those. Put some down. Knee to ankle. <laughs> so there you go. So you can kind of, it's a little buggy still, need to do some. Really, it's mostly just cleaning up the uh, the skeleton and rigging of the, the model because I just did a really quick basic pass. Um, once that's all cleaned up, it should work a little bit better. Uh, right now, I only have control over the limbs. I'll be adding some controls for the torso and head uh, in the future. Uh, the other thing which I still need to get working properly is the, uh, the circumference, so it doesn't really do anything besides changing the little gizmo. Uh, eventually it'll actually scale out the, the limbs properly so that uh, you can get that matching perfectly. Okay, so you know what, I'm just going to restart here uh, so I can freshen up the, the gun in here. So. Pop it back to the defaults. should really add a button for that, maybe new costume should should reset the, the dummy values as well. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so we'll start off. Um, I'm just going to kind of run through exactly what the program does because I've had a few people say it seems like a really cool tool, but what do I use it for? Um, so the idea behind this tool is uh, twofold. Uh, one is to be able to import 3D models and unwrap them in 2D and what that means is basically take something that's 3D and flatten it out so that you're able to print it out on paper or cardstock and then rebuild it into that 3D model that uh, you started off with. Um, and then the other thing that this uh, tool is for is to then place those parts on uh, a dummy so that you can really get the scale exactly right the first time. Um, with some of the other tools that are out there, uh, you wind up, you think you've scaled something properly and then you print it out and it's either too big or it's too small and it's just a pain to go through that whole process of building something and then have it turn out like that. Okay, so here's a rocket pack I've been working on from the Rocketeer. Just take you through uh, exactly how, so this is just like a straight up default unfold um, how it starts off. So you can kind of double click on parts that zooms into the camera view show you exactly what part you're working on. Um, there's a bug right now where you have to double click that to get the camera controls back to normal over here. I'll be fixing that for the, the build. Um, if you hit Z you can zoom in on a part so the idea here is that you take your parts, right click, uh, these are the tools that you have available to you. The, the right click is essentially a context menu, so 
whatever you currently have selected, when you right click, the options here will be specific to what you're currently working on. Uh, so I'll choose translate, which is to move parts around. This one over here. Uh, yeah, rotate. And the way that works is you click one point, which is an anchor point, you click another one, and then you can rotate a part around. So, other one being joint cut. And what that does is it's to split parts up and put them back together. So, for example, this part here. I'm um, not really happy with how that is from a building standpoint, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it right here, and then I'm going to join it up right down there. See, so now that's more what I want to see when I'm building. So, that, that part down here. So that's kind of the general idea is you split up the parts and you get them to fit on the paper. Um, until you're you have something that you're you're happy with and you want to print. Um, after you print it out, um, what it does is it prints these little tab numbers for you. And what that tab number is is there's a corresponding one. So see how this one's 372. If I zoom up over here to the top of this part, there's the other 372. So when you're folding that, you would you would fold it up and then glue that tab to the other part. Um, let's see what else. Okay, <clears throat> so these dotted lines. What that means is if you see a dotted line like this, it means it's a mountain fold. And so uh, you, you fold it one way. Um, uh, the other ones are kind of like big dash, little dash, big dash. Those ones you fold the other way. It's <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to show exactly what you mean. I don't know if you can get this, but like a mountain comes up like this and a valley fold, the other one goes like that, right? So it's either folding that way or folding that way. So that's just to differentiate that when you're putting it together. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of all there is to the 2D mode. Um, there's a few additional controls for printing. Well, that's, that's a great bug. I should fix that up. You shouldn't be able to move a part around when you're in the UI. You can't unselect anything. Um, so you can change the, the paper type. So all the standard paper types are there. Um, letter and A4, I think, are the most common. Uh, it seems to be the ones I always see popping up. Okay. And then if I go here... Uh, I think the only other real thing that I can show off is uh, and choose the, the color of an object. And that's really just for when you're attaching them to the dummy so that you kind of can differentiate your parts and give a general idea of, of what the color is going to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in another costume part, bring in a helmet. And I'm going to make that, whole, that helmet gold-ish. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Uh, oh, let me introduce you to some buttons down here. So now I want to zoom out on everything. That's this button here. Uh, this button here zooms in on whatever you're currently selected on. So I'm going to zoom out to here. Uh, this is undo, redo, if you're wondering. Um, that's hooked up for most things, like the translate and the rotate and the joint cut all works with the undo, redo. Um, attaching parts, I think, which I'm going in going to now. That, that works with the, the undo redo. Oops. Uh, so I'll select the dummy. I'll go manage attachments. I'm going to select the head, the head node here. And then I will select the helmet. And that attaches that, that object to that node. So and then you can move them around and adjust them as you need to. So I'm going to translate that. And translate it like that. Um, the other thing you can do is rotate. Uh, I don't really need to rotate this part, but I'll show you what that work, how that works. So rotate around if you need to. Again, I don't need to for this one, so switch back to translate. Okay, and so immediately we can see, yeah, that's that's not going to fit. Um, so. This workflow is a little bit uh, janky. I need to fix it up. But essentially what you want to do is exit the uh, manage attachments. So what you have to do is select the dummy, 
match attachments. Click on the object you want to adjust, which is for me the helmet, and I'm going to adjust the scale. Uh, I'm going to switch the units to percent because it's just a little bit easier for quick manipulation, and I'm going to make that 10% bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, the other problem is mm, I think it needs to be stretched out a little bit. Uh, something you can't do in other tools is just adjust one axis. And the way you do it in this tool is you turn off the uniform scale, and then I'm going to adjust the Y scale to 120, so 20% bigger. And yeah, that's, that's perfect. I'm happy with that. Uh, so switch back to manage attachments, select it. Uh, hit Z to zoom in, which is what I just did there. Move that over a bit, down a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, the way I'm rotating around like this is I hold down the Alt button and the middle mouse, and then as you move the mouse around, it'll it'll rotate around what you you currently have selected. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. So then I will also attach select that node. Attach the jetpack, zoom in on it, move it back a little bit, perfect. But you know what, that's that's a little big, so again, I'm going to select the dummy, manage attachments to go back into this mode, select that guy, uh, do uniform scale, I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit, maybe to 90%. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of all there is to the tool right now. Um, when you're ready to print something, you just select the object you want to print and click the print tab, and that'll bring up your standard print dialog. Just print it out, cut it out, put it together, and boom, you have, uh, have the the three D representation. It's like the uh, do it yourself three D printer. So yeah, uh, that's the tool. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys. So um, I've put in this contact us button, and what that'll do is it uh, it pops up the Facebook uh, discussion group. So please, guys, I really encourage you to, to go on there, uh, join the group, post up what you think. If you have ideas for improving the workflow, let me know. Bugs, I love to, to get bugs because it means I can fix things that much faster. Uh, with all the, the different tools that I have in here, it's really hard for me with each release to go through and test everything before I upload it. So those first couple days after an upload, love hearing from you guys. Let me know any bugs that are in there so I can get them fixed up as fast as possible. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Oh, the other thing is, now that I have these parts imported in here and I have kind of this costume set up, you can actually just save it, save costume. I'll save it out as the Rocketeer. And that saves out an armor file that has everything inside it, scaled, adjusted, all in there, ready to go. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. Thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for future releases. Thanks.